What's up, what's up, what's up, my fellow Piscians? Welcome, guys. I hope you're having a beautifully, phenomenally blessed day. Thank you for joining me for a moment in Becky's House of Cards. Please like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel down below. Set that notification bell so you always know when the next video does go live. Knowing that that is a free way to support the channel as well as connect me with your energy so that I can get you out more resonating readings. If you guys by chance are interested in donating further or getting a personal reading from me, that is linked down below in the description box. I want to thank you to anybody who has liked, shared, and subscribed as well as commented. I want to thank you to anybody who has gotten a personal reading or is thinking about getting a personal reading. And I want to thank you anybody and everybody who has donated or who is thinking about donating. I'm truly honored to share this space and time with you guys and you bless me so very much without knowing. So thank you so very much. And with that being said, I want to thank you, my OGs, my new Gs, and anybody that allows me your most precious asset, your time. As always, it's an honor, privilege, and a blessing being here, giving you guys these messages. And my prayer, as always, is that they fall upon your hearts in a way that remind you to use your intuition, to use your discernment, to take back your power, and to make the decisions that best serve your highest journey in this now moment. With that being said, guys, today we are going down the rabbit hole with a reading in regards to money. Heads up, trigger alert here. Uh, they have been all over the board. Some have been bad. Some have been good. Some have needed work. Others have just needed awareness. So I'm not sure what will come out, guys, but just keeping an open mind here, understanding that if this message is resonating with you, that uh, it's just, it could be kind of down and out negative, but I always leave it on a positive note. So I can't change that, guys. I'm not going to lie to you to hopefully make you guys feel better because we cannot have success in a world where everybody's just hearing what they want to hear. It's about hearing what you need to hear, okay? <sighs> All right, so let's get into it, Source. What messages do you have for Pisces in regards to their finances? How can we help out Pisces in regards to their finances? What do they need to know in regards to their finances? I feel like somebody, like, backstabbed you along the way in regards to, like, a partnership. And you've been spending a lot of time trying to not necessarily, like, put that out of your mind, but, like, put it out of your mind, right? Like, it's been more like... How can I use that to my advantage to overcome and to be stable in the next steps of my life? But at the same time, it's been weighing on you a lot, making you feel like you're the one that holds responsibility for those people around you. And I feel like Source is just pointing out here that you have an opportunity to change your perspective and understanding that this actually helped you so that you could understand that it's not your job to take part and physically take care of everybody around you. It's more about you guys learning what it is that you want in life, seeking that, going towards that, and building the stable connections that you need in regards to that, and using your intuition as it goes by. Uh, it hasn't been easy. It has not been easy, and I feel like there have been many times when you guys have lost sight of what it was that you wanted, and you maybe started and stopped, like, I keep getting this energy of, like, oh, I start something, I stop it, I start that same thing, and I start, stop it, I start that same thing, and I stop it, and it's, like, Source is just saying, just for once, don't stop, just keep going, like, just, it's been really hard for you guys to believe in yourself because of the way that people have treated you in the past, and Source is saying to just believe in yourself this once, if it's hard for you to believe in yourself, just keep going and watch the miracles that Source is going to work in your life when it comes to your finances. What messages do you have for Pisces in regards to finances? Okay, we have a card coming out in the horizontal. Okay. What other messages do you have for Pisces, Source? What other messages do you have for Pisces? Wow, okay. What other messages do you have for Pisces? What other messages do you have for Pisces, Source? What other messages do you have for Pisces? For, or for, for money, for their coins? What other messages for Pisces in regards to their finances? Whoa, okay. That's it. I'm taking that and we're going to leave it. Okay, I don't know if I have enough room or if I can get that to fit. I may move your energy over here because we at least know that's on the board. Let's see if we can get these to fit. What 
Bottom of the deck, we have the two of coins reverse, followed by the nine of cups. Your energy is coming out with, oh, I love this, with the Pope S in the upright. So yeah, you guys have definitely started and stopped. Like this is that energy. It's like starting and stopping. It's like there's been one project that you guys have started and stopped, started and stopped. And I feel like you guys have been working on that same project here, but you've kind of been thinking about going a different direction and sources saying like, stop. That is your happiness and you know it's your happiness and you're aware of it. You've been following your intuition. It's been guiding you down this journey of having trust in the process, but it's been really hard for you to find out. You have, you, you're listening to source, but at the same time you have your back turned to your happiness and it's like what you're missing. It's not like you guys are missing your happiness. What you're missing is that this is the thing that brings you happiness because it's so intriguing to you. But the problem is, is that in your, in your energy right now, you're worried about what other people are thinking. It's like you need to be approved by other people. And it's like in that energy, you guys, that's that back and forth energy. It's like when you guys let what other people are thinking or saying about what it is that you're doing determine the outcome, you stop. But then when you guys don't care about what other people are thinking, you keep going and you actually will pick that same project up again, which is unusual for Pisces. Like Pisces are good at doing multiple things all at once and never finishing like that. But it's like this one thing you keep going back towards. So let's see what we got on the board here. Excellent. We're starting out with coin energy. Okay, so we've got the page of coins wanting to come out both upright and reversed. Okay, that's why the horizontal is here. We have the Ten of Wands. Okay. Woo, we have the Emperor. The Two of Cups. I can't with you guys. And there's your energy. Hangman Reverse. Okay. So, here's the deal. This is you guys. I, and I'm not... I'm not trying to be mean about that or anything. It's just like, let's start within the reverse. What has happened? What's made you stop? This is like impracticality, right? Like unsound financial planning, not being, it's like almost wanting money so bad that when you didn't get money, you like let that be the reason that you didn't move forward, right? And, and that's what Source is saying. It's like you're so concerned about past achievements that have failed but they haven't actually failed because they've been conditioning for you to be prepared for what it is that source is offering you and source is about to offer you something really beautiful 222 is a very powerful number for you and the thing is is that there's a wonderful opportunity coming but it's up to you whether you stay in this reversal or energy or you allow yourself to stand up now being a page it's like that's the thing it's like as you guys continue and you don't stop that's what makes you feel like a page, like a beginner in this. It's not that you're a beginner at whatever it is that you're doing. In fact, I think if you gave yourself an opportunity not to compare yourselves with others, but to show yourselves to others who actually wanted to see you succeed, you would see that you actually are an expert at what it is that you guys are doing. My phone just went off as I was saying that. So that's confirmation here, guys, coming through. Okay, it's like you guys are an expert at what it is that you offer. But the problem is, is that need of approval from others. And that's what puts you in this reversal. Like, maybe I should just stop. Maybe this isn't what I'm meant to be doing. And Source is like, trying to give you the green light here. Look, just stay in this energy because the next step from this is to move up into the knight. And then you move up into the queen. And then you move up into the king. Right? But you even do one better. Here's what Source is saying. The outcome is, is if you stay in the upright of the page of pentacles. Okay? The page of coins here. What's going to happen? You're going to take things slow. Coin energy is slow. It's earth energy. It's very slow moving, which is odd for water sign. I get it. I'm a Pisces. I understand. Okay. It's just odd to be in that energy. But it's just saying keep slowly moving, slowly building. It's like as water, you wanted things to happen as fast as you make them happen. And this wasn't the case because this was totally outside of your comfort zone. Well, somebody's coming in that's going to, you're going to be building a friendship with. This is somebody, this could be somebody from the past, okay? But what I'm getting here is it doesn't matter. This is somebody that you're building a friendship with and you, the two of you are going to be like thick as thieves. Like the two of you are going to be very strongly connected. There's going to be a very close relationship here. Somebody that you can tell anything to and this person's just going to keep encouraging you. This is what's different. 
in this time, as long as you keep going, it's like you're going to keep going and kind of like, maybe not tell this person everything, but just be like, oh, you know, I, I dabbled in this today, or I did a little bit of this towards my project, or I did this with my business, and this person's going to be like, hey, that's amazing, like, you're so inspiring, like, you should just keep going, Pisces, and you're going to be like, really? Like, I don't see it that way, and this person's like, you don't see yourself, like, that's the thing, it's like, they're trying to help spread some truth in your life, but you're still fighting with the anxiety of the past, and being hurt by people who didn't want to see you succeed. Okay, and that's understandable, Pisces. Like, there's nothing wrong with that, right? But it's up to you to make a decision to change. And it's up to you to make a decision to get out of that. The path that you're on is the right one. Look at what happens when you stay on it. Screw your finances. You become the emperor or the empress, right? But this is more about the emperor. You're taking the action. You're building your empire, right? And you're going to be given something that you can protect. And what is your? what are you protecting? You're protecting your empire, right? You built this from the ground up and it has taken a long ass time. And you're probably like, damn, I'm so exhausted. Like I build and 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 I built the Empire State Building in freaking Legos. And it's taken me years and years and years and years and years and years and still, and I'm still building. And then eventually what happens is you're going to look back and you're going to be like, holy moly, I am in the Empire State Building. I'm so high above the ground for those of you that aren't afraid of heights, right? <laughs> Come with me now. No, but you're going to look down and you're going to be like, wow, this is actually really stable. Like you're going to jump up and down on your building. It's not going to move. There's going to be a hurricane that comes in and it's not going to move. There's going to be like a tornado that comes through and you're going to be the only one left standing. Do you see what I'm saying? Why? Because you took the time to build your empire, even though you felt like you weren't doing the right thing at times. It still kept calling you and you still kept coming back to it, right? And you were defensive to it at one point. You were defensive. And I think you were trying to manipulate the system at one point to make it work in your favor. But it's interesting because the thing is, is that this person that's encouraging you, maybe you didn't think that it would be anything but a, but a friendship. You guys are going to become best friends, okay? Like, I heard it's like two peas in a pod. We're going to be close as, as two people can be. Like, you guys are going to know each other so well. And it's like you're not realizing it. this. You're kind of scared. Like, you're scared to let this person in. But I think this person just kind of slow, again, slow moving with your finances as well. It's like this person slowly building towards you because they want to get to know you, Pisces. Like, you've never given up. And they've watched that. And they're just kind of like, whoa, like Pisces like gets knocked down, but still brushes themselves up and stands up and they're still going and they're still amazing and they're still working and they're still trying to be the best that they can be. And that's somebody that I want in my life because that's a true person. It's like this person sees the, the truth of who you are. Like the music stopped. It's been going this whole time and it just stopped. It's almost like silence so that you guys can hear the importance of the message. Right. And you blocked yourself off to this. Like you're still kind of defensive to this. It's kind of like, no, I don't I don't know. Like, it's cool. I'll build a friendship with you. And, and you, you're open to a friendship. Like, I want you guys to know you're open to a fr friendship. But what you have your back turned to is the fact that this is a soulmate coming in. And that and even me telling you this, it's like it's interesting because even me telling you guys this, like you're still not going to be expecting what happens. Like, it's going to be one of those things that you're you're not really trusting of this person. Like, there's going to be some things that you feel are red flags, but it's like they never actually play out the way that you expect them to. It's like, well, yeah, it seems like it could be a red flag, but it doesn't feel like a red flag because it never goes the way that a red flag would go. Right? It's almost like they open up with what would have been a red flag in the in the past. But that it was just kind of like, oh, here's a moment to flag to pay attention to the next time. And then, oh, here's another moment to flag. It's like here you're like, here's a moment to flag because this doesn't seem stable. But then the next time they build and they're like, oh, yeah, I remember like what happened last time. And it like wipes out that red flag. I hope this makes sense. I really do because I feel like I'm talking in circles right now. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Anyways, it's like, it, that's what it is. It's, it's a mirror. It's a mirror of things that have happened to you in the past that have set up bad relationships, bad partnerships for you. So this person's going to be the person that encourages you on the journey. This person's going to help you build without realizing that they're helping you build. No, this person's not going to have their hands in your money. This person's not going to have your their hands in your entrepreneurship. This person's not going to have their hands in your success. 
this is going to be your biggest cheerleader. This person is going to be standing on the sidelines like, go Pisces, go, you're doing so great. Yes. Like, and you're going to be like, holy crap, there's actually a person out there who wants to see me succeed. But you see, like, you're calm about it. You're not like expecting anything. You see his, look at his face. Like, just look at his face. He's just like, like unfazed by anything, just kind of like, well, whatever comes, comes and whatever happens, happens. And that's the energy that you're in. And then all of a sudden something happens and you're, you're going to fall in love with this person, whether that's a partnership or not, or whether that's a love relationship, right? Again, the two of cups is definitely indicative of a loving relationship, somebody you're going to fall in love with, but you're not expecting it. Like, it's not something that you're, you're like, oh yeah, like that's the person I want to love. Like that's the person I want to spend my life with. I think <laughs> that's why the hangman is here. It's like, basically you've been running from this, this whole time. And it's like, you're so focused on your finances. Hold on just a second, guys. Sorry guys, my dogs are about to go crazy. So here's the thing. I think this whole time it's like you realize you're building something strong with somebody, but then your fear of the past is going to come in and you're going to try and block yourself from receiving this connection. And I know that I said this was about your money, but that's the thing. It's like you're so focused on your money. Your money is building. Your money is building. It's just that you've never had anybody cheer you on. And actually your success is coming because you finally feel good about what it is that you're doing. Hey. Don't you bother that. She just looks at me like, oh, damn, I'm guilty. And so what Source is saying is just changing your perspective. Like, I feel like you guys felt that this soulmate that you were supposed to connect with. Okay, and I know I'm not one to use labels, but they're telling me to use this label. I'm not going to use the further labels than that, but this is somebody that you never thought was possible okay like that's the thing it's like this is a new person coming in and you thought it was somebody from the past that was going to come back in and sweep you off your feet and that person never came in and you've been waiting and hoping for that person to come in and that's what source is saying like change your perspective like i'm sending you this gift to help you find stability in your world it's like you've been doing it alone for so long like now, can you, can you open yourself up to not being alone? You know, your happiness is here. And that's the thing. It's like your intuition is telling you that this person is, is, is good. Like, it's like you get good vibes from this person. It's not like you get terrible vibes from this person at all. You get good vibes from this person. It's just, you're just like hoping that this is going to be somebody that's going to walk the journey with you. But what's ending up happening is that this person is going to be somebody you fall in love with. Yeah. News is coming and change news about change. Like, it's like you guys changing your perspective on who it's supposed to be. Right. And that's what what essentially helps your finances. But I feel like source just wanting to touch on your finances just a little bit here and saying that it's really about you guys just sticking firm to your plan. Like you had a plan. Now keep following your plan. Right. Because that's where your success lies. You guys are about to become the emperor. Right. And then I feel like, too, the emperor is coming into your life. So this is an emperor emperor situation. OK, and I'm not here saying it's about your your gender. That's not what it's about, guys. It has nothing to do with your gender. It's just that somebody's coming in that's already stable, that's already established. Right. And I feel like you guys are already in empress energy. But to be an emperor energy, which is becoming established and stable on your own, it's what you've been working towards, but it's kind of been eluding you. And the reason it's been eluding you is because you've been worried about what other people have thought. And that's what's made you go in this start and stop energy. Yeah. Your ancestors are guiding you out of this wilderness. <laughs> They're like, basically like, don't worry, Pisces. Let's get you out from these people who are snakes. Like these, these people who have caused a lot of riots in your life. These people who have caused a lot of upsets in your life. Like we're leading you to somebody who's going to stand by you through thick and thin. And I think that's what's surprising to you. And it's not that you don't care about this person. It's just that it's not who you thought it was going to be. And I think that's been really hard for you guys to let go of because, guys, I get it. On this journey, especially for those of you that have been drawn to other uh, soulmate terms and labels, okay, other labels. Not even a term. These are labels that people have created, okay? Regardless if they were channeled from source or not, at the end of the day, we're still human, 
But these are labels that have been created in this 3D realm that people are feeding on because they're feeding on people's fear of being alone. And I think that's exactly what happened is you fell into that hype. And in that hype, it's like you basically put somebody in this boxed idea of that label. And you're like, oh, well, when is that person coming through? And it's not even that person. You see what I'm saying? Like, maybe in the next lifetime. But in this lifetime, I'm not saying you're not meant to be with your person. What I'm saying is that in this lifetime, Source is offering you a gift of something and somebody who's going to give to you from get from the get-go. Okay. I can't with you, Source. We have Turquoise, Masculine, Feminine, Fifth Chakra come out on the bottom. And this is connected to the throat chakra of Fishuda, which is truth. Satya, which is speaking truth, is what I heard when I turned this over. I heard Satya. And so Source is saying, like, this is the truth. We have 53, which is 8. This is about you guys letting go of cycles, karmic cycles, things that have kept you stagnant. And maybe that's it. Maybe you guys started this situation because you thought that that was going to bring you closer to your beloved, right? And I quote that because it's just this person that you put into this box and it's like that person just seemingly is getting further and further away. And it's like, you're just kind of like, damn. And it's like, you finally have seen your worth, but it still feels like you're still fighting for this connection that's not going anywhere. And that's what Source is saying, like, let that go because that's like, this person's made their decision. It's not that you weren't their partner. It's not that you weren't meant to be with them. This person used their free will to not come towards you. And that's what forced you to focus on your money. And now that you focused on your money, Source is going to bring somebody who saw your worth from the get-go. Not somebody who's coming in because now you have financial stability, which I feel like somebody from the past is going to show up once you get financial stability. They're going to be like, hey, Pisces, I see you're doing really well for yourself. I'm interested in you now. Okay, and you got to be careful of people like that. I'm just saying. I can't. Didn't I just say cycles? You're ending karmic cycles. And look, we've got hair, cycles, 31, which is four. So four is a very powerful number for you. Yeah, you guys are ending cycles, things that have plagued your journeys for lifetimes. Okay, and you guys are letting that go and it all begins with you just believing in yourself. Even if you don't feel like you're a pro at it, even if you feel like an amateur, like keep going, keep going because eventually you're going to become a pro and you're going to be like, wow, I'm so glad I didn't stop. Boom, we have 21. So 2112 is a powerful number. 1221 you might see a lot. Um, we have lioness protection. This is about you guys embodying that strength and opening up your heart, right? We have the heart here. Opening up your heart to something new, something brand new. Is that easy? No, we have 31 and 21. So something about 10, 10 coming through here. That's your path of purpose. Opening up, completing a cycle. I can't. I can't with you, Pisces. I can't. We have shaman, ancient healing wisdom. Yeah, you guys are healing really deep rooted wounds, things that your ancestors dealt with. These are an ancestral curses, generational curses. You guys are healing them. You're letting them go. You're freeing your family, your bloodline from these things. And that has been really tumultuous for you. It's been heartbreaking and hard. And it's like they're, they're asking you to listen in this time to change your perspective. It's not that person you thought it was going to be. And when you let go of that person, like suddenly things are going to start changing for you so we have birch feminine east venus and water this card talks about relationships i'm going to read these out of the book and then we also have tobacco masculine east mars and earth so this could have been dealing with a a scorpio or a aries mars energy is very like aggressive energy so this is telling me that you guys are really embodying that aggressive energy we have 31 31 coming out together here but i love this because you have feminine venus right and i'm pretty sure mars was the husband of venus i'm pretty sure don't quote me on that right now but i'm pretty sure like uh, something is telling me that that's the truth i remember reading it a while back um it's been a while so you know, I'm human too, y'all. So if I got it wrong, I got it wrong. But I'm pretty sure that the, the god of Mars is Venus's husband. And so this is telling me not only is there a match coming, but this is also telling me that you guys have balanced out very, very uneven energy. 
So we have Birch. It says, I am Birch. I am growth in understanding the inner self, others, the world, and all our relations. Allow me to provide awareness that removes restrictions and permits you to proceed, right? And that restriction could be you guys believing it has to be a certain person instead of opening up to who it could be. My healing and purifying properties clean out and provide for new beginnings, fresh starts. My bark is used to make practical items and is also burned in the sweat lodge to cleanse the body and spirit. I am protection. So there's something about cleansing your energy here. And I feel like with shaman here, they're telling you that you guys would benefit from working with plant magic. Okay. And if you guys don't believe in plant magic, then just the healing properties of plants and essential oils would be very beneficial for you guys. Okay. So we have 31 tobacco. Look at this. Masculine East, Mars, and Earth. It says, I am tobacco. I'm the sacred offering. This is source offering you a gift. Are you going to take it, Pisces? I am a release of all your negative elements and energies. I am purification. My stoke, my, my stoke, <laughs> my smoke will provide you with clarity of thought and purpose. I am the sacred center of the Native American spiritual knowledge do not be too selfish with what you are doing remember to give away giving away is receiving i offer you help through purification i am the sacred smoke of the pipe ceremony yeah so they're saying not to get too greedy with your finances because source is going to help you with this empire but it's okay to also give to people you know it's it's okay like whatever your business is it's not that you have to give away money but you could give your services away you know like whatever for readers right like if you guys are ta uh, if you guys are readers or if you guys do kind of services like that you guys are very spiritual. Say you guys are Reiki healers or something like that. You do a drawing where you offer one free healing session for 10 minutes or something like that, you know, because giving is receiving. When you do that, that energy comes back and you receive that energy, right? And so that's very important for you guys to do stuff like that, okay? Opening up. This is a beautiful reading. I love how we started with 31 in the Oracle. We ended with 31 in the Oracle. Like such a beautiful energy for you guys. Just don't be so stuck on who it has to be that you fall in love with in your life because you can't help love. And at the same time, you also can't pressure somebody into loving you. If they don't want to love you and they've used their free will to choose someone else, let them go. Let them go. You are worth so much more than someone making you an option. Okay, Pisces? Like, that's, that's some bullshit. Like, let me just say that right now. That is some bullshit. You're not a person who's an option. You deserve to be number one because you have beautiful energy. You're a strong individual and you blow people's minds. And if somebody can't see your worth the first time around, they don't deserve to see it a second time around. Okay. Choose the person who saw you from the get go and they chose to stand by you through thick and thin. Okay. I love you guys. You're on the path to a positive outcome. Keep working on yourselves. Please like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel down below. Set that notification bell so you always know when the next video does go live. And until next time, go forth boldly, my fellow Pisceans, and courageously find creative ways to rise above in life, laughter, and love. Until we meet each other again, peace out. I love y'all. Bye.